What I notice now, nowadays, most of the companies trying to find out the captive person or old hand person to protect their data from malicious attack, from cyber attack. So that is why I thought if you are as a technical person trying to find out how to protect your data and how to protect the company confidential, I thought to better share two most common attack, which is ARP spoofing and ARP poisoning. But I noticed that most of the students are quite a bit confused about ARP spoofing and ARP poisoning. I thought it better to share my knowledge in how to distinguish between ARP spoofing and our poisoning. Let's jump on the board and see what are these types of attack. Okay, ARP spoofing and ARP poisoning. The main purpose of ARP spoofing is to change MAC address. So how they change the MAC address? For example, we have a Wi-Fi router in here. Most of the time it happened with a wireless connection. We have a Wi-Fi router here. This is router. The router MAC address is for example, C, C, so on. So it's an example MAC address. So our computer is connected to this access point, which MAC address is A. In here, our computer MAC address is A, A, router MAC address is C. So the transaction is okay, internet is fine, there is no any issue. How the attackers trying to get involved themselves in our internet. Computer D. Computer D is a malicious computer. They change their MAC address to A. Hey. And they deceive the router and say that, hey, you know what? I am the owner of A MAC address. So for router, it's very hard to distinguish which one is right and which one is wrong. It pick whatever is matching with the table it automatically access the internet from here to there. Attack number one. Attack number two is, for example, computer Z. The computer Z changed his MAC address to C. C. Now, it is hard for our computer to distinguish the router MAC address or the hacker MAC address. That is why for example, whenever I want to access the internet, my data goes to Z computer and after Z computer, it goes to router. So now in this scenario, we have a man in the middle attack. So means this guy has all our information because it deceived my computer and changed his MAC address to the router MAC address and I don't know which one is right and which one is wrong. Target number one is to change his, his MAC address to my computer so it can access the internet. And target number two is changing his computer to router MAC address, deceiving my computer. And this caused a man in the middle attack. These are very common attack. It is happening every day. Try to make sure protect your computer from these kind of activities. Or poisoning. For well, the network industry in a switch environment, we have a two layers of switch. We have layer two switch and we have layer three switch. With layer two switch, we have a COM table, contents, other stable memory. With layer three switch, we have a uh, ternary, contents, other stable memory. We have a specific storage for our MAC address and we have a specific memory limit for storing a MAC address. If that MAC address table is get full, our switch will get stacked. That is why the hackers, they are sometimes a step ahead of most of the people and they are trying to deny this kind of service. So here's the scenario. We have a layer two switch and I have a hundred client here. I have hundred client here. It's connected to internet. So now my switch has 200 MAC address stored into contents addressable memory. Up to 16,000 MAC address, I know that most of the um, bigger series of switch can accept and store. If it is cross over 1,600,000 MAC address, guess what happened with your switch? Your switch will get stuck. Your switch will stop working. Now, 
everyone will start complaining hey you know what my internet is not working whether it's connect to wire or wireless top of that if this switches your single point failure now you are in very very bad situation i know it is hard unless you need to reboot your switch if you reboot your switch it doesn't mean that you resolve the problem it's refresh the contents of the disabled memory table and since attacker is here they will rerun the same scenario hackers put their computer in the middle they send the arp request they send the R. they send the arp request more than 2000 20,000 R solution port security don't use factory default configuration create a VLAN and if it is if the scenario is getting worse and worse trying to use 802.1x 802.1x I will try my best to talk specific about 802.1x on my upcoming videos okay if the information was very helpful don't forget to subscribe my channel and until next time stay safe